Hey everyone, please watch this video in prep for your soil texturing lab next week in R&R &R 1130 and 1135. So soil is made up of coarse fragments, in other words, fragments in the soil that are greater than two millimeters, like gravel, cobbles, boulders. And the fine fraction is anything less than two millimeters, like sand, silt, and clay. Now, this fine fraction is what we're going to focus on today. And the fine fraction itself, these are not arbitrary ranges in size. In fact, they reflect major, major changes in particle behavior and also the physical properties that these particles um, exhibit on the soil. In other words, the soil behaves very differently if it's primarily sand or if it's primarily silt or a combination of all three of these um, particle sizes. So let's dig into that a little bit further. So this fine fraction, notice how the sand is by far the largest particle. The silt is quite a bit smaller. And these, again, these keep note of these ranges and sizes. And anything less than 0 0.002 millimeters is clay. So this fine little dot. So again, particles greater than 2 millimeters are coarse fragments. And notice that the um, sand could actually also be um, classified into subcategories given that there's a really broad range. So very fine sand to very coarse sand. Think about beaches that you've been on, really fine soft sand, and other times it's a lot coarser, rougher sand texture. So we can use hand texturing, so our hands to actually uh, discern the proportion of the soil's uh, soil co um, clay content, sand content, or silt content. And then we can, there's certain techniques that you're going to learn in the following, the video following this one, on how to differentiate in the soil texture triangle the different proportions of silt, clay, and sand. Now you'll notice the word loam in this triangle. So loam is considered to be a soil mineral type that has a more, I guess, even proportion of sand, silt and clay, although a little bit he um, heavier on the silt side of things and less on the clay side of things. So loam is sort of a perfect soil for plant growth. Another way of looking at this texture triangle is a triangle that only shows clay and sand. So you would do this hand texturing process to identify the amount of sand and the amount of clay and then the, um, the silt is sort of like by default, the, the remainder of the proportion. Now let's say you put just a, a clump of soil and some water in a jar and let it sit for a while. First, the largest particle, the sand, would settle out. So here you see the sand settling in the bottom of this jar. Afterwards, you see this other finer, softer texture is the silt. So there's, in fact, this might actually be, there's some silt and then this is silt as well. Now, a really, really thin layer on top is the clay. And the cloudiness in the water is also the clay. The t clay takes the longest to settle, and some of those clay particles may uh, require a very, very long time to settle. So this jar testing is sort of just a, a qualitative way of looking at soil texture. And so you'll see different um, thicknesses in the bands of sand, silt, and clay, depending on the proportion of each of those in the soil. Now you can also work in the lab using, um, these are called sieves. And the sieves are like a mesh with the different size classes and you can wash through each size sieve from larger to smaller to separate the sand, the silt, and the clay. So just to summarize and, and maybe touch on why this is important, so soil texture affects water retention. So think about a soil that's heavy in clay will retain water a lot longer than a soil that's heavy in sand. And the opposite matter, the reciprocal of that is soil aeration. So how much air can the soil 
contain or how often does the soil have a lot of air in it will depend on soil texture, which is important for root respiration in plants. Soil fertility is greatly affected, so the amount of nutrients in the soil, and we'll get into that more in coming weeks. The susceptibility of the soil to erosion, again, we'll discuss that a little bit more in coming weeks. Organic matter decomposition, and also the operability or your ability to use machinery on the soil is greatly affected by soil texture. Uh, Clay-heavy soils are much more predisposed to um, uh, compaction than a sandier soil. So that's it for right now. I hope that you found this useful. And uh, please watch the next video, which I did not create, on uh, soil hand, hand texturing.